Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to think about how to use passport strategies. In the last one we set up passport strategies and now we're thinking about how to use them. Um, in the index.pug file supplied, so I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. And in our, here we have an index.pug file supplied. Um, there's actually a login form. So here, we if show login, if show registration. So this is actually a login form, but it hasn't been rendering. It has previously been hidden because the inline JavaScript if show login with the form indented after it. Before show login as a variable was never defined, so it never rendered the code contained in the form. Go ahead and res.render for that page, add a new variable in there to the object of show login to be true. When you refresh the page, you should then see the form. Okay, well, let's first off get our nodemon server going. So nodemon, and we're going to go server.js. I hit the tab key to make that happen quickly. And so now if we run over to local and we refresh the page, we're going to see our, our well, yeah, we need to wait for it to run. There we go. It looks like cannot get forward slash. Okay, so you notice that successful connection just pa happened there. So now that we're doing all of this database connection stuff, it actually takes longer for our server to kick up. Um, so yeah, we have the successful connection. That means that um, I, I have my console logs are still in here. Um, oh no, yeah, the console logs are still in here. So I'm gonna get rid of the successful uh, connection and unsuccessful connection. Actually, no, I'm going to leave those in there. Successful database connection and unsuccessful database connection. And our title says connected to database. So that's good to go. All right. And so, um, yeah, <clears throat> when you refresh your page, you should see the form. So what we want to do is show, show login to be true. So right now, if we look at our, uh, at our login page, uh, our index page, we, we don't see anything. But what, where is that being rendered? It's being rendered, rendered here, and we're passing in. So once the database is connected, the index route sends us here, and we're using pug as the engine, and our variables being passed in are title and message. So let's add to this, and we'll make it. So if we look at index.pug, we want to say show login. Let's run, make that to be true. So we're going to say show login is equal to true. So now if I save this, you'll notice Joe, as soon as I save this, Nodemon will immediately reset. So it's, I saved this, Nodemon's clicking back over, and now it says it's back up and running. So if I refresh now, we should see a login page. Oh, cool. So we've got a login page. All right. Uh, this form is set to post on login. So this is where we should set up to accept the post and authenticate the user. For this challenge, you should add the route forward slash login to accept a post request to authenticate on this route. You need to add a middleware to do so before then before sending a response. This is done by just passing the argu the, an another argument with the middleware before you. So function request response with your response. The middleware to use is passport.authenticate local. Uh, Passport.authenticate can also take some op options such as an argument such as a failure redirect, which is incredibly useful. So be sure to add that in as well. The response after using the middleware, which will only be called if the authentication middleware passes, should be to redirect the user to forward slash profile. And that route should render uh, the view profile.pug. And the, if the authentication was successful, the user object will be saved in request.user. At this point, if you enter a username and password in the form, it should redirect to the home page. And the, con and the console of your server should display username attempted to log in, which we currently cannot log in a user who isn't registered. So submit your page when you think you've got it right. Okay, so for this challenge, you should add the route for login. We're going to want to do this within the database um, scope. And we want to do it for when it's successful, which is this area. Um, and so 
I think we want to do it. I think we want to do it before the strategies. The strategies we're sort of setting up. So yeah, I'm just going to say app dot route, and then uh, for the login, right? Yeah, login, and then we want to say accept a post request. So dot post um, to authenticate on this route, you need to add middleware to do so before then sending the route. This is done by passing another argument with the middleware before your function request with your response. The middleware to use is passport.authenticate local. Um, so passport.authenticate local. And then they say you can also take some options such as failure redirect to here. So which is incredibly useful. So as to add as well, the response after using the middleware, which will be called if the authentication middleware passes, should be to redirect the user to profile. Okay, so authentic passport.authenticate local. Um, and we want to say failure to do that. And then I'm going to start this on a new line. We'll add another so that's three parameters. This should be a comma. And then now we're going to do the uh, request response cycle. And this is the callback function. And so uh, res.render uh, forward slash profile. So this will, once, if, if we have a proper uh, uh, a post request, then we're going to render. If we are authenticated with a local strategy, and if we fail, we're going to go here. And if not, we're going to do a request response cycle, and we're going to save that there. So I'm going to save my work here, and then we'll come back over to this guy and say, um, well, actually, we don't have to do this because if we inspect our form, we see that it takes us to the action of login. So uh, admin, whatever, it's just I've got some thing in there. Okay. Unknown authentication strategy local. Okay. So unknown strategy local. I think what I want to do is look at the documentation for passport local because I don't think I'm doing that right. I really just, this was just a shot in the dark. Um, so our login thing, uh, let's click over to passport local. We've installed it. This is the uh, local, the strategy that we set up and then so use passport.authenticate specify local strategy to authenticate requests. So app.post, so route post app.post passport.authenticate local. Oh, okay. So this needs to be within this scope. So we're saying uh, passport authenticate and we're passing in a string of local and then a, a failure redirect. They say that it should go to login. Does this one make a request specifically? Passport authenticate local. Failure redirect forward slash. Okay, so even though the documentation says login, the we're just redirecting to the root URL if we make a mistake. And then they have a function of request and res. That's the same as this. We're just using ES6. And then res.redirect to profile. So res.render profile. Um, I'm not sure if that makes a difference. So let's save this and you'll see already Nodemon spun it up and has already started. And so now we'll just go to, uh, go back here and just log in. Cool, user attempted to log in. Okay, nice, that shows that we've got it. User attempted to log in, um, which means that it came to here. No, no, here it is. Uh, connection to DB was successful. Um, User attempted to log in. Where does that happen? Attempt. Okay, so that shows that we're, oh, we're cool. We're clicking into the local strategy. And uh, yeah, that's that's good. Okay, so I'm, this is all very good. If it shows that we've attempted to log in, that's good. So it's very useful. Um, the response after using the middleware, which will only be called if the authentic middleware passes, well, I think that it's passing, uh, should be redirected to user forward slash profile. So yeah, 
render profile uh, with profile.pug. Um, okay, so it's not working because, wait a second. No, it's we don't have a way to authenticate. If authentication was successful, the user should be saved as request. The, the object will be saved in request.user. Okay, I'm not sure what that means. At this point, if you enter a username and password in the film, it should redirect to the home page and the console of your server should display username attempted to log in. Oh, do we get the, did we get that? Looks like this page is being rendered for connected database. Okay, so it's not getting that. Attempted to console.log return user. Cool, the user attempted to log in. That, does that mean the console of your server should say that? Okay, cool, so our server's saying that. Uh, since we currently cannot log in a user who isn't registered. Yeah, we don't have any set up to create user objects. Submit your page when you think you've got it right. So I think that we've got it right. So let's stop the server. We go get status. We can see we've got uh, get diff. We've added please log in. Uh, and we've said cons yes, just adjusted that stuff. Cool. So let's go get add, get commit. And then we're saying add a route for local authentication. And now we're gonna say git push Heroku. Okay, so now what we're doing is just pushing all our code from our local machine up to our uh, Heroku server. And once this is complete, then we'll test to see if it works. Okay, so now that our, we've pushed our um, code up to our production app, we can grab the uh, production app URL and pop it into here and say you complete the challenge. Awesome, looks like we passed all the tests. Uh, they should be comp completely implemented with the server JS and a post for login should redirect to our forward slash. So yeah, we basically just built uh, a, like a dummy thing, but this gets us kind of the starting ground for redirecting there. So yeah, complete the challenge. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.